What's going on, people? This is your boy Negative Edge back at it again with another creation. Well, actually, this is something I've done already, but I've updated it. I believe I fixed all the bugs. And let me explain what this does. This right here is what I call a YouTube playlist database for live streaming. Most of my clients has this application. And you know the jukebox feature that's on the application that I've been uh, you know demonstrating or whatever. It comes from this. This is what they see on their end. This is what they see on their end. And what's being played is what's being displayed on the layouts that everybody watches when you know they're live streaming. So for example, let's say I click you know a certain track and I wanted to play on the um, layout. So let's go to my layout right quick. Here we go. And I'm about to click the Sonic Media track right here. And watch what happens. Yep, and there's my indicator showing what's being played, the name of the song, the thumbnail, and all that. So that's how that works. It this This right here, works with you know my clients layouts if they want it now again let's go back to the actual page one moment here we go now once again this is what I call the YouTube playlist database for live streaming what it is is you can upload your uh, playlist from YouTube to this particular application right here and it'll extract all the videos that you have saved into my database in my server to be used with your layout. Let's do a demonstration. All right, for instance, I got some saved tracks or whatever. You know, on this page right here, a little, little play favorite tracks, and yes, you know, this nostalgic joint right here, Streets of Rage. Everybody know this beat. Every hardcore gamer. <laughs> but anyway, this is my favorites right here so far that I've added. And if I wanted to add another playlist or update it, I'll go over here and click it. Put my information in. Put my playlist in. Let's put a different one in right here. And then we click update playlist. Close that. Upload. Complete it. Now it's a totally different playlist. This is a totally different playlist right here from all uh, before. This is a short one right here. But if I want to see my favorite tracks, my old favorite tracks are still present, regardless what playlist I use. And let's say if I want to enter, not enter, but save, you know, save a song from this current playlist compared to what I have already that was from my previous playlist. I could do that. Let's go back to the regular playlist, which is this. And I'm about to click this song right here favorites you see my uh, account well, went from 18 to 19 let's go to load and play your favorite tracks and there it is at the bottom it's my favorites so let's put my original playlist back in update playlist put my info in okay this is my regular playlist right here let's close that upload playlist it's going to replace the playlist I had before but y'all see me save that song from that previous playlist. Okay, and this is a brand new playlist right here. Let's go to the next song. I already got that saved. Let's go to the next song. All right, Ninja Guy. Yeah, okay. Let's add that one to the favorites. Now we go to the favorite playlist tracks right here, the page. And as you can see, Here's a song I saved from the last playlist, and here's a song I saved from this playlist. So you can add as many playlists as you want, but it's gonna replace the current playlist that's playing right now. But if you save songs from regardless, you know, whatever playlist you add on there, if you save a song, it doesn't have to be the same playlist, it is saved into a separate um, database for it could be pulled up when you, you know, whenever you want it. So you won't lose those. So yeah. That's it right there. The YouTube day, uh, the, well, I can't even talk. The YouTube playlist database for live streaming right there. It works with um, the layouts I designed, as you see, <clears throat> as you can see. Once again, let's go ahead and show it again. Go back to my layout. 
And let's play this track right here. There it go. And there you go, folks. That's what I do. And that's what I've been explaining for the longest. All my layouts, my layouts do the work for you. They're plug and play. And I design different scripts and such, you know, just to make magic like this happen. And that's what I do. I'm negative motherfucking edge. Not for real. A negative edge. That's all I got to say on that. Have a good day.